Hi everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I have another Dollar Tree DIY for you all and it's in a farmhouse style. It's a spring flower arrangement. I'll be using this galvanized tin can planter. Actually, I'm going to be using two of them. One in this size, which is sort of a taller one, but a smaller circumference. And then the other one is more wider but shorter and I'm going to put them together to create a two-tier spring flower arrangement and here's the picture of the finished project I'm going to go ahead and prepare these two containers and if you notice this one actually is not indented or it's not textured as opposed to this shorter one where the writing or the inscription is indented I'm going to go ahead and paint both of them using my chalk paint and this is in a color chalk, a matte finish and I got this, it's by Waverly, I got this at Walmart. I'm going to be applying the paint using my artist paint brush and this is the one that I also got at Walmart, it's the flat paint brush. I'm going to go ahead and paint over even the inscription or the words and then I'm going to do a little bit of distressing later. I still want the flowers and garden sign to appear later but I'm going to go ahead and just paint it right now. What I like about the farmhouse style, you don't have to be too perfect when you're painting or doing your finishes but of course when it comes to painting you have to do it in one direction so I'm just doing it this way. Then using a fine grit sandpaper that I also got at Dollar Tree, I am scraping off some of the paint, just kind of giving it a distressed finish. Actually, I was unable to film when I was doing this because for some reason my camera stopped working, but I'm just showing you how I did it. I put emphasis on the words flowers and garden, that's where I scraped most of the paint, but I did it lightly, not too much because I still want the paint to show, but also the words to show and it looks like it's distressed or weathered look right now. Next I'm using this wooden rolling pin that I also got at Dollar Tree and I'm applying a generous amount of hot glue at the bottom part so that I can connect it to the inside center part of this container. I highly recommend using a stronger hold or stronger bond glue like E6000. Dollar Tree sells fix all because you wouldn't want this to get disconnected. I'm just using hot glue right now in the interest of time for this tutorial. And then I'm going to be putting hot glue on top of this wooden rolling pin, a generous amount again, and then I'm going to be eyeballing and putting the top container and making sure it's centered. I will be using Oasis, this florist foam that they sell at Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack and I'm going to place one on each side of the rolling pin here. Later on, once I start putting the flowers, I will show you how I'm going to be filling in the gaps at the center because there will be some gaps. And I'm placing the remainder of the florist foam on the top container. I am going to be using some of the flowers that I have on hand already. These ones are from 99 cents only store and then these ones are from Dollar Tree. So the one on my left hand from 99 cents only store will be the ones that I'll use as a foundation for the flower arrangement for the bottom vase. And I like the colors of this one. You can find a substitute easily at Dollar Tree and choose whatever combination that you have. Like I said, I'm just using what I have on hand so as I will not be too wasteful. 
So this is what I like about using the wooden rolling pin. It gives me enough space or clearance to add taller or longer stems of flowers. You can also use uh, two you know, candlestick holders, the glass candlestick holder holders and stack them up, but nothing beats this rolling pin. It costs just a dollar instead of two dollars and plus it's more rustic, it's more farmhouse. So just a tip for you there. So I'm just going to be placing this. I'm going to be slicing in half one of the florist foam because there is a gap. There are a couple of spaces there at the center and I'm slicing them in half. And then after I remove the half, I slice them again in another half. So one fourth of the round florist foam and then put one on each side of the rolling pin one at the back and one at the front like so just to fill in the gaps then I'm gonna go ahead and just put the flowers and I'm not an expert or a professional florist so I'm just gonna do it the way I think would look best so as you can see here, I put first that yellow in the middle behind and then I kind of pushed towards the back those flowers but then I realized I want to put them a little closer to the front and then move the yellow one to the middle front portion because I still want to kind of camouflage the rolling pin. So I think this one is much better and then the rest I'll just show you what I'm going to do with all these Dollar Tree flowers that I have. I'm going to have spring flowers here, combination of a lot of colors so that it will spell spring. I want to start off with the top part even though I think I still need some filler flowers at the bottom so that I can actually see how it will all work out. So I stack up uh, the remaining florist foam that I have and then I'm using the hydrangea first so I'm cutting each stem kind of like what I've done with the other flowers at the bottom tier and I'm just kind of spreading them around. Next, since I think that the top container is a little plain, I have this wall decal and I'm just going to use the top design there that has some leaves and a pot with three hearts. So I'm just going to use the top part and then I'm going to be adhering it onto the front of this top container so that it doesn't look too plain. And then I am going to go ahead and do a dry brush technique to give it a weathered look so that the black doesn't show as if it's too strong or too imposing. I'm adding some of these leftover leaves from a previous project and I'm going to be inserting the video link our iCard on the upper right hand corner where I created the dress form and I used only the flowers and I have this leftover and then I'm just pushing the leaves onto the very top portion or the tip of this stem and then I'm going to cut them and I'm going to use them as fillers because I don't want to waste them plus I know that I need to fill in some of the gaps.
Since the sticker that I use looks like it's too strong or too black for my taste, I'm going to go ahead and use the same chalk paint that I used earlier. I'm going to be applying the same color of chalk paint that I used to paint the containers and I'm going to be painting over it. As you can see, I'm just using a small amount of paint and then I am just wiping off the excess so that I will be able to do a sort of a dry brush technique here. As I don't want it to cover the image completely, I just want to give it a weathered look or distressed look. And here's the finished project, everyone. I really love how it turned out, and I like the weathered look that I've done on the sticker and of course the bottom part here. So I hope you enjoyed this video everyone and I was able to at least give you some inspiration for decorating for spring. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Don't forget to click the subscribe and notification bell so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. And please leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think and let me know also what you're doing for spring. Are you ready for spring yet? I hope to talk to you again on my next video. God bless everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.